Hey, good evening guys, and welcome back to the channel. You join me here, Bentley's on uh, Soy 5 Pratamnak, and uh, yeah, as part of my series, I'm showing you Pratamnak and Jom Tien. I showed you these when I was out here the other day, and you can see that they're, they're, they're getting close to being finished. So I'm right opposite Hill Fresco Hotel, which is right there. And I'm going to take you down to Soy 5 and show you more of the nightlife of Jom Tien. Uh, sort of nightlife in Pratamnak and also I'll take you into Jom Tien. Noisy motorbikes at times. I'll take you into Jom Tien and show you around Rompo, Soy 7, and the main kind of nightlife areas and uh, there as well, okay? Okay, so. Yeah, I won't take you right up the top of Soy 5. Uh, up there you would you would see old drogues. Some bar there on the left. I always feel it could do more. Dom Pizza again on the left there. He has extended it so much and, and really tries to capitalize so much on that. Uh, the audience he has in this area. As you can see, lots of kind of massage shops. And over there, Hardy at Salon. That's where Nong and I tend to go on a Friday night, play some pool. Or sometimes there are other nights through the week. There's lots of other little bars in this area, but Hardy and uh, Venom and Cobra is probably the two I'm at the most often. As you can see, some fairly big massage shops. Just to give you your bearings, that is Panora Condominium on our left. That one there. You can, there's no windows on this side, so it's kind of in darkness. Over to the right, Cobra Lounge. And uh, two doors up from it. Um, used to be Flamingo Bar, but the owner decided to change from the Ladyboy type bar and is making it into a, a very upscale cocktail lounge. The kind of place where you've been to Dom's for your, your food, and then you want to go somewhere nice for your drinks after. Over on the right, mini Big C. And just before a Big C there was... Uh, was Checkpoint. These big bikes with their loud exhausts. As I say, I saw one the other day and the front end was off of it. So right at the bottom I saw a five, we, we, we go to the beach area. And uh, yeah, as you'll see, 7-Eleven's got like a, a seating area out the front. A lot of people sit there, night time. whisk you along the beach. us Jom Tien. Sandbar by the sea there. They do quite a lot of uh, 
like party nights, I'll call them, but they, they do like salsa nights and nights where they have band playing and they also do uh, the odd wine night, so you, you get your food and as much wine as you want for a, a one-off price. There's always dancers here in an evening. see how I can show you around. As I said, there's a one-way system here. Okay. Let me try and slow things down a little bit. Okay. That's Panacea there on the left. Escobar. Uh, like the town, John Tien has definitely gotten a bit quieter than it has been. Um, I'm sure it'll, it'll pick up for uh, Songkran, but we're not there yet. Country Road 3, very busy. Over on the other side, oh, I just can't quite get my arm round. Is Liquor Lounge and next door at Viper, the only go go bar in Jump Tien. And there is some shops here, but as I said on the daytime video, there's no there's no supermarkets. That's probably one of the things that's missing. Yeah, it's a while since I've showed you around. Jump to in at night. Over on the left there, Tinny's Pies. Behind that is, well, I call it the gay area, but you know what I mean? It's, um, there is lots of gay massages and that, but there's, there's also a lot of nice restaurants in there. on the right hand side Lone Star uh, fairly quiet there's maybe only six or seven customers in there just now problem is there's there is so much in uh, John Tien over on the right see the Guinness sign that's Maggie Mays but it's only been open about a month There you can see a busier bar. Hey David, how you doing? And Sharples, fish and chip shop. Now if I'm out cycling and Nong does go out, that's where she goes, take care pub. As you can see, cycling here is a challenge. This is Junkie and Second Road. This is the new Rompo, right? And uh, it just, well, the bars definitely haven't taken off. The restaurants seem to be the ones that are holding their own. So a Thai food restaurant there and uh, Two pizza restaurants in the same place. One bar open, but yeah, it's not even eight o'clock, so it's, it is early doors. But I would have thought there would have been more people. Another bar there, Lara Croft. And that 
Schwarz is that all drum pool. This market's very, very steady through the day, and at night, this, this bit just on my left here fills out with the little stands. But this and Soy 7 are probably the two main areas for John TN for bars. Look over at the right hand side so you can see. So you notice in the difference between here and Patea, it's it's not a battle of the bars with the with the music on. Sorry, crap. They still haven't sussed out what the name bars, but. Any of you who uh, follow Palmy, his bar is up here. I will show you. You know, I talk like I know where it is, but all the bars start to look the same. I think I passed it before. I think I'd actually said it when I was right next to it. Anyway, his bars on this on this bit, a bit further back. All right. That's us close to the back, and the bit there you can see all that up is the Rompo Mukata, which is the barbecue buffet. So Nong and I came down here, I think Saturday night, we came down for the, the little Italian restaurant, I'll show you in a sec. Now there is a car park on the side we just drove up. It's just like everywhere else. There's bars that are busier during the day and quiet at night, and there's ones that are quiet during the day and busy at night. This one always seems to have a good turnout. Over on the left hand side as well. Oh. So I will, uh, I will show this little bar here because one of the channel subscribers, he likes to come in here. Sorry, crap. He likes to stop over here during the daytime. Sorry, crap. It is a lot, lot more relaxed than Patea. It's, I've got to say, it's more the long game here. That is Rompo. We didn't go up and down the, the middle bits of it, but I'm 
sure you've got a feel for what it's like. Time-wise, exactly 8 o'clock, right? Oh. And that's, that's the lights, so I'm going to turn around here. Carried straight on here, that would take us to Patea. Now, they have alternated the soils here and made them one way, and so, so we'll go down soy five. Those of you that live here will know. Place everyone loves to be spending a day at immigration. But you can see five soy five wouldn't be a bad place to stay, you know. There's uh, lots of hotels and it's quiet. There's nobody racing up and down it or anything. He's going the wrong way down the one way street. Everything here is on that side. That's why I will show you. I still don't understand why there's so many herb shops and how they can stay open. They're definitely not busy. There's one in the Pretumnak Soy 5 that um, is fairly busy. But apart from that one, I hardly ever see anybody in any of the other ones. Jump to end post office. I keep forgetting to point that out. It's not a place I visit very often. kitchen. Very, very busy restaurant. I mean, even if Nong doesn't get finished till half nine, we can still go in there and have dinner. Okay, I'm going to take you down Soy 7, then I'm going to turn the camera off, cycle around again and come back up here, just because of this bloody one-way system. So, when I restart, it'll be from this point. as loud as the music gets at this time of year. And it's a shame to see so many of the bars quiet just now. And it is breezy, thankfully. Temperature-wise, still 31 degrees through the day just now. In my car, it's been reading 35, 36. If you were out in the sun, you, you could imagine it'd be a lot more sweaty crap. Hey. 
always worries me when they've got a gruff voice like that. Sorry, crap. If you're staying here long term, long term, this is enough nightlife to see you through the week until you, you know, until you want to go down to prepare for your your big night out sort of thing. Uh, police are a little bit different here. There will be a few bars open till two, not many, and unlikely you'll find any after that, unless you've got a lock-in somewhere. Okay, join me again at the, the, the other end of this soy. So there we are, end of soy seven again. We're still on Beach Road. One here on the left, Soy White House. Again, a very popular area. For the, pe the people are staying jumped again. Sports bar. I used to come down here with Nong for breakfast sometimes. This one here, there. Pretty crap. Yeah, there was uh, people saying on the other channel in the comments. You know that sometimes Patea can just be too much noise all the time. And uh, it's a bit of a distortion. When, when I go around on my bike here, you are catching everything at one time. Um, it's not quite as bad as it maybe comes over, but it is loud, you know. As you can see, the police are down here. Now, whether that's to try and stop people coming up the wrong way, I don't know. Well, I think they're trying to help a guy that's, his battery's flat. Lots of uh, food carts all over the place. They used to sit on this road more and just go up and down looking for where the people were, but as you can see at night time, it's a bit quieter. So uh, 
And because of the one-way system, they've stopped doing that. And this is us, down at the John Tien Night Market. Yeah, it is not packed out tonight. About three weeks ago, it was rammed. So there's been a, a definite uh, downturn, not just in Patea, but in, in uh, Jong Tien as well. So there we go. Nighttime, Jong Tien. And a bit of platinum now. Guys, thank you very much for joining me. There we are. Be safe and take care. And we will see you next time when I'm out in the town. Bye for now.